Okay, hi everybody. Um, we are going to talk about analyzing a quadratic function, which means we are going to find a vertex, we're going to find its zeros, we're going to find our line of symmetry, the y-intercept, and the parabola, whether it opens up or down. And we're going to use the function f of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 12. So, let us first take care of the things that are the easiest. The easiest one is the parabola, whether it opens up or down. So it opens up or down. Now what we need to do is we need to look at A. Look at the A value. And A is equal to the number that's out front here. Since there is no number, the coefficient is 1. Now, if A is positive, it opens up. If A is negative, the parabola opens down. So opens up would mean the open side of the parabola is up, and down is just the opposite. Now in this case, since a is equal to 1, which means 1 is greater than 0, it's positive. So we know that it's going to open up. So those are the first things that we need to worry about. So we took care of that. Now 2, the second part, we can find the line of symmetry. and our vertex. We can do all of that at the same time. Now in order to do this, I need to know what A, B, and, well, we don't need C, but we'll use C. We'll find it anyway. If we look at the original function, A is 1, B is the number with the, the coefficient of x, which is 8, and C is 12. Now, in order to find the line of symmetry, we we'll use the equation x is equal to negative b over 2a. So we know our a and our b, so let's go ahead and just substitute those values in. My b is 8, so I need the opposite of 8. And 2 times a, a is 1. So in this case, I'll have negative 8 over 2, which is negative 4. So I know that my line of symmetry, the LOS, is x is equal to negative 4. Now the nice thing about this is x is equal to negative 4 is also the x-coordinate of the vertex. So we have the x-coordinate of the vertex. So if here's the point for the vertex, I have negative 4, and then I don't know what the next part is. But I can just take that negative 4 and plug it into x. And what this means is I'm going to take that squared plus 8 times whatever the value is plus a 12. Since I know x is negative 4, this is going to be negative 4 quantity squared plus 8 times negative 4 plus 12. Negative 4 times negative 4 is 16. 8 times negative 4 is negative 32 plus 12. So I have 16 minus 32 plus 12. So I'll get a negative 16 plus 12, which is negative 4. So there's my negative 4. So I, I now found that my vertex is at negative 4, negative 4. I know it opens up, and I know where the line of symmetry is. The line of symmetry goes right through the vertex. Now our next thing, if we look back up at the top here, we've taken care of the vertex, we've taken care of the line of symmetry, and we've taken care of whether or not the parabola opens up or down. Now we need to find the y-intercept. So 3 
the y intercept this is just equal to c so whatever the c value is that's our y intercept so the y intercept is at 0 comma c which is 0 comma 12 and then part 4 is we need to take f of x is equal to x squared plus 8x plus 12 and we need to find our zeros now probably the the easiest way to do this is to factor factor f of x so in order to do this first thing I have to do is find out a times c my a is 1 so that's 1 times 12 because c is 12 so it's equal to 12 second step I need to find two numbers that multiply to get a 12 that when I add them I get my b value which is 8 so this is a times c and this is b so I can take 12 and hopefully by now we're kinda doing this stuff in our head but 12 is equal to 1 times 12 2 times 6 3 times 4 so 1 times 12 if I add those up that's a 13 that's not the 8 that I'm looking for 2 plus 6 is 8 hey that's the number 2 times 6 is 12 2 plus 6 is 8 and since 8 or uh, a is 1 I can actually just say okay well this means x plus 2 x plus 6 is equal to f of x so f of x is equal to x plus 2 times x plus 6 and from here we use the zero product principle or we'll call it a property instead that says hey if I got two numbers that are multiplying each other and we get a zero one of these the a or the b has to be zero because we'd have zero times b which is zero or a times zero which is zero so a equals zero or b equals zero and that's what we have to do here to find our zeros we want zero to equal x plus two x plus six so if this is true then x plus two has to equal zero or x plus 6 has to equal 0. So in this case, x is equal to negative 2, x is equal to negative 6. So these are the zeros of the function. So now I have my zeros, I have my y-intercept, I have my line of symmetry, I have my vertex, and I have whether it opens up or down so now I can take all of this information and put it into a graph and we're just gonna do things really quickly here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve one two three four five six one two three four five six one two three four five six seven eight so I know my vertex that's at negative four negative four I know my y-intercept that's at zero twelve I know my zeros they are at x equals negative two and x equals negative six I know my line of symmetry that's x is equal to negative 4 and I know it opens up so I know all of that information I'm gonna go ahead and plot my vertex at negative 4 1 2 3 4 1 2 3 4 right here I have a 0 at negative 2 and a 0 at negative 6 so that's negative 1 negative 2 negative 3 4 5 6 so those are my two zeros it's not drawn to scale um, I know my line of symmetry is going to go through negative four which is right here I know my y-intercept is at 0 12 so 0 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 so I'm gonna go through that line so 
I'm going to have a parabola that opens up like this. So that is analyzing the parabola in standard form.